what's up, what's going on, reggae people? Yeah, man, Zion here coming at you again with another tutorial. And this one is from Toots and the Meters. This one is called 5446. This one, yeah, a very true story, you know? And also a very simple song to play. So let me show you how to play this one. Grab the guitars. As I said, it's a very simple song. It's a bit bluesy and a little, little bit um um like church type of you know cards are you know the feel. So um so yeah. So let's go with the intro. All right, the intro. You know, I think this song is in G. All right. At the intro. Stay it up, sister. Hear what I say, son. Yeah, God. Get your hands in the air, sir. Yeah. Then you will get no hurt this time. No, no, no. I say, yeah. And also. Alright, so that's. Basically, what's going on in the song? There's only one time they go to the arm um, to the the five, and also it's a dominant. So here we go. So to get for the intro, it's a G dominant. The intro is a G dominant or G seven. All right. So you bar the whole third fret. Place your middle finger on the second string, fourth fret. Ring finger goes on the fourth string, fifth fret. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That's not it. <laughs> By the whole on um, third fret, middle finger goes on the third string, fourth fret. Ring finger, fifth string, fifth fret. I was just showing you guys C minor. <laughs> but um, here we go. Yeah. See, I'm human. I make mistakes too. So here we go. And that's it. That's how it looks. Alright. So you're gonna play that. And then you go. Then you will get no hurt this time. No, no, no. Now you're gonna choose if you wanna start strumming. Or you wanna start. For, for this, let's do this part first. Alright, so that's same. You want to come all the way up here to your fifth fret. Use your pinky finger. Alright, so it's a position here. Pinky finger. And your your pointer finger is going to go on the, um, the fourth string of the second fret. So you want to play. So you want to play from here. Here we go. one there we go so you're gonna jump real quick up to your your fifth string fifth fret so you're gonna go all right so that's what we got so far then your middle finger so you're going up and down so your, your middle finger goes on the fifth string, third fret. Back to the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. Right at the fifth fifth fret, fifth string. You end on the um the fourth string, second fret. So it's a so let me get closer and play it for you guys. Here we go. Hmm. 
Now, to get the feel, now you want to you wanna mute here with the palm, okay? And you want to pick... So you want to rest the, the hand right there, all right? Now, you don't want to mute it too. So you get that. You just want to just rest the hand on it a little bit. That's it for that part. Now, for your strumming, so G, all right? So you're gonna strum here. So you're strumming from G to C, all right? So remember your first D that you learned, all right? That's with your point of finger, third string, second fret, ring arm, um, Middle finger, first string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the second string, third fret. Now you want to bring that all the way up to here, to your seventh fret. All right. Place your pinky finger on the fourth string. Fourth string. This is your ninth fret. All right. Or you can choose to just do that. But you get more stability when you do it like that. All right. To the C dominant. All right. So you want to bar the whole. This is your whole eighth fret. Place your. It's the same thing like the G, like I showed you guys before, for the injury. You just want to bring it all the way up to your yeah five six seven eight eight fret. And you hold that same position. All right, middle finger goes on there. Ring finger goes in. So that's your third string. Third string, ninth fret, and um, ring finger goes on the fifth string, tenth fret. All right. So you're gonna strum. Remember, your strum is supposed to be a sharp and not a Please don't do that. And do not strum up. That is not right. Some people try to do that, but it, it, it does not sound good. All right, so. All right. And that's basically it there. So um the, there's a part where you go, you ever tell me one time. Uh, you ever tell me that's the C dominant they're playing right there. You ever tell me one time. Or you can play it here, like I showed you. But if you're gonna play it here, you wanna bar the whole third fret, pinky finger, or let's use your middle finger. All right, fourth string, fifth fret, ring finger, second string, fifth fret. Just should look like that. All right, so if you want to use your pinky finger to do, to do whatever. You ever tell me one time? You ever tell me two time? You ever tell me three time? Tell me four time? Give me, give me, give me. Sorry. So you know. But you go, give me, give me, give me, give me. That's when you play your D dominant right there. So the same position you hold here, you just bring it up. If you so choose. Alright? Also, uh, remember if the C's here, like I showed you before, then the D's right here. Okay, also D is it. But I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you guys the different positions. So just use this one. Then you go. Right now, someone have my number. 
that's it for the song. There's nothing more to it. All right, I hope you guys catch up. Enjoy. And that, my friends, that is how you play Toots on the Meters 5446 on guitar. Very fun song and also a very easy song, like I said before. Now, um, remember, guys, your feedback is very, very important to me. So let me know how you feel about my tutorials. Let me know if there's anything I could have done to make them easier or if I'm moving too fast. If there's anything I could have done to make them more interesting or whatever, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Also, if you have a song that you want me to do a tutorial on, please let it be known. Put it down there in the comment section. Alright? Do not forget to like, share, comment. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe. I know we all live. <laughs> Remember, my name is Zion from Zion Lessons. Blessed love. Peace out. I'll see you next time.